All right, welcome to the video. And this one I'm going to be discussing with you or showing you rather six top pro academies in, in the world and the number of hours that their players train. Now, this is just segmented training from their club. This does not include anything like games, scrimmages, extra training that they do. You know, maybe they're going out and training with their friends or street play, right? Going out on the street and playing or playing other pickup games. Okay, so we have six clubs. We have AJ Auxerre, which is in France. Ajax, which is in Holland, Bayern Munich in Germany, Bayer Leverkusen in Germany, Bayern Nord in Holland, and Barcelona in Spain. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through kind of what they do um, per week and things like that. So you can see here for using Auxerre, which actually before we do that, let's look at the number of hours. So Auxerre did 4,700 hours up to U19, Ajax 4,380 hours up to U19, Bayern Munich 4,380 hours up to U19. Bayer Leverkusen, 3,980 hours up to U19. Feyenoord, 2,960 hours up to U19. And Barcelona, 2,760 hours up to U19. And look, what, what I really want you to start taking away from this is that there is no right or wrong answer into the development of pro players. You can see here, these are all elite pro development clubs. And they all have different categories of the number of hours that their players train. Now understand that maybe, for example, Barcelona's is a little bit lower because a lot of their players are going out and playing pickup. Or maybe they're doing futsal. Or maybe they're doing something a little bit different. Um, and maybe they're doing more hours on a tactical development, watching film, things like that. I, I don't know what the answer is. But I, I'm trying to get you to understand that there are many different ways to reach the top. And it's trying to develop that circumstance but you need to be mindful that if you're going to reach the top it's going to take a lot of hard work because you can see here from u9 to u11 at aj Auxair, or u9 to u12 at ajax or u11 to u13 at bayern munich they're doing three practices per week right so you can see they're not getting a ton of practices with their team but that's being supplemented probably by the street right playing pickup games things like that so they have a different type of culture that we don't have in this moment. But it's just a, a mindful thing that I want you to think about and take in. So you can see we're looking at Bayer Leverkusen, Bayer Nord, and Barcelona. Again, look at their practice sessions per week. Two. It's all here. Two, five, and five. Two, three, four. Two, four, three, four, five. All the hours are right here for all the clubs that you could see. And it just gives you hopefully an understanding of what these clubs are doing and that it's not an unlimited amount. There's only so much that a player can train. There's a, there's a periodization that goes into this, but just to give you some ideas about it, you can even see here at Bayern Munich, they added schooling into their system. So you can see school sessions. These are the ones that they're investing in U13 to U14 is where they put the most time into. And um, it really adds up guys. So be mindful of those things. The number of hours, there isn't a set number of hours that, will make it for a player. But, you know, the more that you're putting into the correct way will make a difference. So, see you in the next video.